Hey guys, I'm Divine Lightbody. Allow me to introduce myself. Who's up and coming? Who's got next? This is... Allow me to introduce myself. So I would describe my sound as an R&B, pop fusion, feel good music. I take a lot of inspiration from oldies, but also a bunch of different genres that I've studied. So it's kind of a mix of everything that I've learned, but basically just R&B pop music is kind of what I do. So a lot of the experiences that influenced my music career came from when I was really young. I was writing songs when I was a kid. Um, the first kind of musical experience that I had was African drumming, if you can believe it. Um, my parents wanted me to get into my history, so we started with that, and it kind of just blossomed from there. I started to songwrite with my sister, and I started to take uh, lessons and learn different instruments, and then I went on to do like a regional arts program, and then I studied music in college, and here I am with all of hopefully what I like to call music knowledge, and I kind of use it towards my my craft regularly. So yeah, it kind of just started off when I was young. Some people had, I feel like a lot of people had different extracurriculars. I feel like for me, it was music always. Whatever music extra clear I could get in as a kid, I was in it. Broadway, lessons, singing lessons, everything, I was all, I was always involved in that. So yeah, that's kind of how it started. Is there a, a triple threat thing here where you, you obviously you sing, is there an acting component, is there a dancing component? So, I, I mean, I guess triple threat is a big word. I feel like I do do a lot of different things. I definitely can do a little acting, I can act it up for everyone. Um, I can do a little dancing too, I've done some of that in my music videos as well and I grew up dancing as well. Um, but singing is my main thing and playing instruments is my main thing. So I guess whatever you would call all of those things wrapped up together, um, that's kind of what I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So besides from that, uh, African drum, what other instruments do you play? With? So I play the piano, I play the guitar, I play the flute for a little bit, I play the bass for a little bit, um, what else did I play? African drum, of course. And yeah, I guess just anything that I need to play, I feel like I can get to learn it pretty fast. I have like a wide background in music theory. So a lot of it is music theory sometimes, you know, with different instruments, as long as you have like the basics to it, I can read the music and kind of make that happen. So, but yeah, it's basically piano and guitar are my two mains, just so I can accompany myself when I'm performing. So yeah, that's what I do. Oh, you think I need you. You said they won't love you, love you the way I do. Baby, I believed you. Let you cloud my judgment. I would say what makes me as an artist unique is my versatility. I feel like I dabble in a lot of different genres and I listen to a lot of different types of music. Um, aside from being Jamaican or Jamaican background, I listen to reggae obviously, but I also uh, studied jazz for a long time. I studied classical for a long time. Um, I just have a lot of little tidbits that I've picked up in my music career that I've kind of brought into my sound. And I think that I, uh, you can hear that in my music and I kind of pull from different genres and different instruments and yeah, that kind of is what makes my music unique. I would like to collaborate with, well, there are a few artists. Um, I think locally, um, I'm really into Dylan St. Clair. He's from Toronto, I love his music. Another recent uh, superstar, St. Harrison, he's been putting out some incredibly good music and I want to work with him too. But uh, some of my biggest inspirations, her, Janae Aiko, Lucky Day, I would love to collab with all of those guys. Victoria Monet, Ariana Grande, that kind of pop R&B sound, I love it. And I love their music and I would want to get in those rooms and write with them too. I saved a song for you For my soul that's been working too hard I saved a song for you For those feelings fell through my guitar So the one thing about me, what people don't know about me that might surprise them, it's kind of tricky because everyone kind of, I feel like, has their own thing. I've never done anything but music, and I know that sounds like a <laughs> boxy answer, like a bland answer, but music has always been everything that I've done. I would say though, I know I'm supposed to kind of step out the box, but I will say that a lot of people don't know that I can sing in Italian. Um, I don't know if you guys want to hear a little sneak peek, I'm just kidding, I won't do that. Um, but I can sing in Italian, I can do a little Italian aria. Um, I picked up that skill uh, kind of growing up in the regional arts program, so yeah, I can do that. But I can do anything cool. I don't know, I can't juggle knives, I can't. Ballad, I'm not double jointed, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say, but I can sing in Italian. So if you need 
if you need that, <laughs> I'm here. I was on the launch when I was about 16, I would say. I was pretty young, um, but there were a lot of young contestants. Um, I think it was honestly a really great experience. My favorite part of it though was working with the band. Um, it was a lot of like interviews, a lot of like lights, camera, action on me. And I, when I was that young, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. I was so amazed. Um, I did pick up a lot of tips on doing interviews and like, I guess, just being in front of the camera, which was really good for me. Um, but I loved the experience because I learned a lot and I met a lot of good people. I got like the whole hair and makeup experience. It was like exactly what you think a luxury like TV experience would be. That's what it felt like to my little 16 year old self. I had my own dressing room. They stocked up snacks for me. They helped me pick out my work. I was like, I am living the dream. I am living the dream. Um, but it was really cool. Uh, I think that it's um, definitely a, a good experience. It's also nerve wracking because um, with TV, I guess it's like a lot of waiting. Although it seems like everything's happening right now, right now, go to here, go to there. It's like you do this one thing and then you sit and wait until the next thing happens. And it's like, I'm so worried. I wanna know what's gonna happen. I wanna know if I was chosen. Um, I think it was a good experience for me though. I had a lot of fun and I met a lot of really cool people. So I'm glad I got to do it. In my spare time, I, guys, everything is music. I'm sorry, I don't know. Everything is music. I like to listen to music. Um, I actually, you guys, what you don't probably know about me is right now I'm a teacher. Um, I teach little kids and I love my kiddos. Um, I know that's not spare time, because technically that's work, but I do like to work with kids. I like to work with um, seniors as well. Um, when I was younger, my first job was working with people with disabilities. So I like to do a lot of working with people. I like interaction like that. I think it's pretty cool. I feel like a lot of my jobs have been working with people. I've done a lot of volunteer stuff, choirs and stuff. So I like to work with people. Um, but in my spare time, Netflix. Netflix and headphones. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I want to be in my bed. Don't talk to me. Um, I'm not like a party goer. I'm like a homebody. So I stay home, chill in my bed, decompress, introverted style, all that. <laughs> Wait a minute. You come out, I admit it. Tell me where you're going, where you're headed. You don't want to stay with me instead a song called No Pressure. It's out on all streaming platforms and you can find it under Divine Light Body. That's me. And yeah, it's like exactly what I was describing earlier. R&B pop, fun, feel good music. So I hope you enjoy that. That's my newest single. As for more music and more music related things, um, I've been working with a lot of really cool producers. Um, just a few to name, Akil Henry, and I've done some stuff with Don Mills and Matthew Burnett. So we're just working on crafting some of these songs that I've been creating. I'm planning on doing some traveling, hopefully some LA, some Miami vibes. So just look out for more writing, more music, more everything music related from me. So I'm Divine Life Body, and I just introduced myself. <laughs>